Before getting into the video, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever noticed that there are more and more display monitors on different tracks? For example, Green and Tuscany. Today, let's talk about the secret changes and review the reason behind. With no more delay, let's get into it. In this update, there are more display monitors added to different tracks. The main function of them is just for display advertisement posters. This change reminds me that a few updates before, Gameloft has increased the 6x and 12x credits add and add 8 times on top of it. Besides that, Gameloft has also introduced a bundle for tokens, which you can get 55 tokens for free by watching free ads. Honestly, those changes are good if you are considering as the player's perspective. But let's jump into Gameloft's side. Why they are introducing the changes? The main reason is obvious to get advertisement revenues. As you know, Gameloft can actually get revenues by displaying advertisements. If you have never made a purchase in S1 with real money, the game will randomly show ads. It might be annoying actually, so they won't appear when you have spent your money in the game. However, the above changes are mainly for players who are willingly to watch ads. By increasing the rewards from watching an ad to encourage more players to do it. Wait. Why Gameloft is progressive on advertisement recently? To answer this question, let's jump back to January, when the Special Hunt was introduced. Special Hunt provides a huge benefit for free-to-play players, as it provides everything for you to get a card with fully golden. However, it also sacrifices the potential revenues from that specific card. Therefore, they have chosen an alternative way to balance the revenues, as they can simply put the card into an offer or something. In the past few months, Gameloft has also introduced some great cards, which gives a motivation for free to play players. I know some players may not like winning, but that's the only way to get free cards. You can either green for cards or just open your wallet. You can even do it both by purchasing the daily event pass with an acceptable price. As cards can't usually bring too much revenue to Gameloft, with the introduction of special hunts, they have to choose the advertisements to get revenue. In my opinion, I think Gameloft finally realized what should be made on S1 Night Legends, being less pay to win. Although the special hand was introducing old cards, that's enough for me because let's remember that none of the cards in S1 Night are cheap. For real, advertisement don't harm anyone actually. I'll be able to get more rewards, Gameloft will be able to get more revenues from it, and advertiser can promote their business too. This is probably the biggest win ever. At the end, as well as Legends or even the upcoming As well Legends Unite is just a business for Gameloft. To be honest, a business should not be upgraded by selling products with an extremely expensive price. Reputation for business is also important. Sky prices will only make it diminishing. In order to enhance the reputation, free to play seems to be an ideal solution. Therefore, as Gameloft seems to realize the key element, they are going to introduce more advertisement for revenues. I think Gameloft won't want the upcoming Legends Unite being a loss, so there will be a high chance of being more free to play. However, I have to admit that as far as Legends is still paid to win. Anyways, those are to share, and now it's your turn. What do you think about advertisement in S1 Night? Do you think enhancing advertisement meanwhile introduce more free to play event is a good idea? Come your thoughts below. If you enjoyed this video, Draw a line and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you with more S49 content.